Hi students, how are you? Hope you are using this lockdown time fruitfully and effectively for your study purposes because uh, this time actually you don't have to go out but you are having sufficient time in hand. So don't waste this time. You use this time for your studies. So today I have come in this video with a small chapter this features of audit. Features of audit. There may be a question what are the features of audit. So here I'm just straight away telling uh, I'll be just you note down some points. I'll be sharing with you some points. Number one feature is that auditing is a systematic process. It's the most number one. It's a very systematic process. And number two, it's a logical and scientific procedure to examine the accounts of an organization for their accuracy. So auditing is very much logical and scientific a scientific system of examination of the documents accounts of an organization next there are some rules and procedures to follow in auditing audit is always done by an independent authority or body of person this is the most important thing auditor should be independent accountant himself cannot audit his own accounts so accountant has done his duty by re recording and maintaining the accounts and then auditor will check those things so if he is independent only then there will be unbiased uh, unbiased report and neutral reports for that auditor should be independent then audit is an examination of books of accounts and the financial statements of information of the organization it's an examination of all the books of account and financial statements auditor is to um, examine the financial statements is essentially verification of the final accounts of the organization that is balance sheet, then a profit and loss account in case of company statement of profit and loss. And these things are to be verified by the check by the auditor. Auditing is not only the review of books of account, it's a uh, auditor has to check uh, beyond the books of account. Auditor has to see whether internal control system of the organization is uh, good or effective or not, whether um, internal check system is good or not effective or not this internal check internal audit internal control i'll be coming in next video these are also in your course and to to conduct the help of various source of information audit for auditing you know you need lot of other sources of information and what are the sources of information for verification the vouchers documents certificates and um, questionnaires there are these types of documents are there voucher means voucher is a um, proof in support of a transaction you know so from the vouchers from the supporting documents auditor will verify the books of account auditor may go beyond the vouchers also auditor may want to know some want to get some other documents of the company say the memorandum of association articles of association then my notebook shareholders register and whatever document auditor wants for his verification purposes he can obtain these things from the officials of the organization auditor after checking all these things auditor needs to satisfy himself what does he mean because you know auditor is to give a report after auditing so before giving the report whether the report is good or bad whether the um, report is um, he is satisfied or not so he has to see that he is satisfied or not with the expression with the um, with the documents sub, sub, submitted to him and with his auditing work with the internal control system then with the with the internal check system whether these things are effective or not these things auditor has to write in the report so before that he has to get himself satisfied first because ultimately in the report what auditor does auditor gives the information uh, opinion most important thing is that after checking all these transactions the balance sheet the statement of profit loss account and whatever is the internal control system the internal check system ultimately auditor has to um, express his opinion what opinion that everything is true and fair or not it may be true and fair or not that balance sheet gives a true and fair view of the uh, financial position whether profit and loss account gives a true and fair view of the uh, profitability of the organization and this true and fairness truth and fairness that is the ultimate 
point target of the auditor to find out whether books of accounts and other things are true and fair or not. Now, I want to tell you here one minute what is true and fair. See, true, true, you know what is true, and true is again good, something good is true, not good, it's good, I mean positive, and fair is also positive. But why it is called true and fair? It's never said true and correct. There's a point to be noted. Please study this thing from some book. I'm just sharing you just uh, a glimpse of it. True and fair. It does. It means that all true things may not be fair, and vice versa. So if I give you one example, it will help you. And please remember this in future. Also, you shall become say executive of any company, an organization, wherever it may be. Then you remember this thing that all true things need not be fair, and auditor has to check that. Let me explain one thing. Suppose a company in Guwahati has um, has sent one of its employees, one of its clerks to Mumbai for some work. What work? Maybe purchasing something or selling something or getting, um, bring, collecting the money or whatever maybe for company purposes. Company has sent the person to Mumbai and after he comes back, he submits his uh, vouchers and he claims his expenses, I mean, whatever reimbursement, <coughs> whatever money he spent there, he wants the money back. Now, he has support and given all vouchers and all vouchers include traveling vouchers, then hotel vouchers, etc, etc. And everything he gave, suppose, 5 lakh rupees voucher. Coming to Bombay, from Guwahati to Bombay, Bombay to, and staying in hotel, etc. So then he was asked by the higher authority that why you spend 5 lakh rupees you should see the vouchers I've got the vouchers all correct and the authority show that all are correct and auditor also show that these are correct true the voucher is not wrong no false I mean it's not forged this is true voucher then the question is whether it is fair or not he was asked how did you go to Mumbai and come back he said I went by flight very good then how much is the fare? He said two lakh rupees to and fro Mumbai and and Guwahati, Guwahati Mumbai. Two lakh rupees? It cannot be impossible. So why? Or how you pay, sir? I went by executive class, business class. Whereas you can go to Mumbai and come back by three four thousand rupees per. I mean one trip. So ten thousand maximum. It may be fifteen thousand. But he has paid uh, so much of money. Then he stayed in hotel Taj Taj hotel and he spent so much of money in hotel you know what is the rent of our room of Taj Taj Mumbai or per night you understand those things and breakfast and head. so he has spent so much of money five lakh rupees he paid the bill and all bills are correct valid bill then waiter will ask him or the management will ask him the are you authorized to spend so much of money are you authorized it is true, but is it fair to go to Mumbai by executive class for a person like you? You are a clerk. So you are not authorized to spend so much of money. You are not authorized to stay in Taj, Mumbai. So that is unfair. That is an example unfair. See, it is true, but not fair. This way you can find lots of examples that things that are true, but not fair. And um, I can give you a lot of examples, but in this video, I am not... Uh, giving the example, you can think there are a lot of things which are true but may not be fair, not necessarily fair. Auditing wants that the books of account and uh, balance sheet, final account, and statement of profit, everything should be true and fair, both true and fair. Just remember. So, these are the things I shared with you. Please uh, study from book also and have the book with you. And if you like my lecture, you uh, you you have to like my lecture. This is course material. Uh, you do one thing. You several times you listen to my lecture and listen and write. Try to write from my lecture. Same sentences you can write. You can write in a different way, in a better English. You can write also, and you can edit <clears throat> from the book or internet. These things in every video you do that thing. And the moment you start writing, you listen to my lecture and keep on writing instead of listening one time you can listen to my lecture two three five thousand times no problem so that way you collect the sentences from a lecture and write it the moment you start writing what happens in practice and everything you can remember simply listening you cannot remember i i i know it you you listen to my lecture and also write and make the notes and try to make it better than my lecture 
to take it from uh, extra metal from books or whatever it may be to collect from internet and make it better i've just given you a guidance only this will help you to understand what is written in the book so please do it and in the process you shall become expert in the subject in the topic and the moment you start writing examination will be very easy for you you can easily write it but if you know that you are just listening like uh, music and other things you're listening and keeping it no you shall understand but you shall not be able to remember everything you should not be able to write in the exam properly so please write point wise and make the note clear i'll be giving you uh, separate wise videos in next class i'm coming with a new topic thank you very much all the best stay best blessed always stay fit always and stay safe always stay home